So then of the 2022 paper, this is question number one. And if you have been following my channel, you would know that the topics you are seeing at the moment are topics I already mentioned in a video of topics you should expect in a 2023 one. So the first one has to do with sequence and series. Yes, I've mentioned this topic several times. This section you are looking at includes the compulsory questions. So the second one here has to do with logarithm. And that is the 1B. Now number two contains something I would want to talk about. Very, very important. Number two has to do with word problem. Now word problem is the new trend now in mathematics for all YEC exam questions. So one of the things you can do to increase your chances of getting your A is to master the word problem because almost all questions, YEC has a way of framing them into word problem. So number three here is a power topic, circle theorem. I mentioned in one video that if you don't know circle theorem, don't write the paper, just go and learn how to do it. Just go and master it. Number 3B here also has to do with probability, which is a topic, a topic I mentioned in my video, the topics to expect in the 2023 notebook. Number 4 also has to do with trigonometry. Trigonometry number 5, you can see it's a word problem question on a collateral triangle. So number 6 here has to do with Venn diagram. Venn diagram, I believe it's going to be a three-set problem. Yes, three-set problem. You can pause the video regularly so as to get the questions because I can't read all the questions. I know you can pause it. Exactly. And number 7 here has to do with time travel. Time travel is also a word problem. And then 7B also has to be a word problem. So if you are preparing, I would recommend that you stick to the questions that have to do with a lot of reading. I mean, because you can see it runs through. Going through, you can see that most of the questions do not have to do with just working. It involves reading and thinking. And then number eight. Number eight has to do with your quadratic curve. Click on the image by my channel name to see more videos which I make.